Hey guys, my name is Selena. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, I sound like I'm on Disney. Okay, let's know this. Oh, it's 444, guys. Look, YouTube channel. I got it that time. Okay, um. Hey guys, my name is Selene and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about expectations versus reality, um, college edition slash HBCU edition slash Norfolk State edition, just depends on what you're looking for. Um, basically, I'm just going to be telling you guys what I expected versus how it actually is. Because I know when I was in high school, about to come call, ignore my nails, I'm about to get them done. Expect a glow up 24 go with me challenge coming real soon. But yeah, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up because I know I wish I had this heads up, not going to lie to you. So, um, let me see. Okay, we're going to start off light. Friends. So, okay. Friends, honestly, in college, especially if you're a freshman, are very easy to make. But you have to be social. That's the only... Yeah. I figured that out once I got here. You're not going to make friends by sending your room. You do have to go out. And honestly, no matter how many group chats you're in right now, no matter how many, oh, we're not we're not going to be like the other group chats. We're all going to stick together. And No. Mm -mm. Y'all are going to come on campus. We try even was in a group chat. Make y'all own little friends. People like you have to go out though. When you first, when you first step on campus after you move in, I suggest going out just to like a party. To your school should have like social events. I suggest going to the social events, um, all of that because if you don't, you will be alone. I promise you. Like you, like it really is self serve in college. Point blank period. Uh, if you do meet online friends, that's how I met most of my friends online. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not a social person at all. Um, I met them, not going to lie, on Tinder, Yubo. Like, I just put in my little bio thing, just looking for friends. Oh, if you're, oh my God, if you're in Norfolk State or you're going to Norfolk State, bro, we have a Spartan fan. Just post new friends question mark on your thing, like on your Instagram, and tag Spartan fan. And people will just DM you. Or if you see other people do it, DM them. Um, try to make a lot of friends, especially the ones that are socially connected with other people. So, like, upper upperclassmen. Like, that's the ones I'd really say make friends with. Simply because they really help you out. Like, if you want to join a dance team, if you want to join such and such, it's easier with them because they already know people on those type of organizations and stuff like that. So, for the next one, I'm going to be talking about apparel. Uh, I don't know about PWIs, but for the most part with HBCUs, I was told every day is going to be a fashion show. When I tell you I came with my best dress, I, I brought heels and everything. No. No. Everyone wears Crocs. Like, unless you're about to go out, unless it's the weekend, we're all going to a party or something like that. But just going to class, just walking around on a daily, you never really see people stepping. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, when I step hard, because I like to dress. When I step hard, I feel out of place a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know if that's, it's not just my HBCU. Because I was going to say, I don't know if it's just mine. But no, I've talked to people from Howard. I've talked to people from Morgan. I've talked to people from Texas a and I mean, not Texas a my bad. Prairie View. I've, te I've texted people. like, And they all say the same thing. Like, they thought it was going to be like a little fashion show every single day. No. No. Everybody was Crocs, T-shirts, hoodies, leggings, sweats, stuff like that. Um, but I will say homecoming, everyone steps, everyone steps. And I genuinely feel like if you like to dress, dress because it gets you noticed. It gets you like people know you people always, oh, that's that girl that got that drip. Like, yeah, I say, I say dress how you want. Um, but yeah, you don't have to, like, if you're not a dressy person, don't even worry about it because nobody dresses their butts off for real unless... Like I said, it's the weekend or it's social stuff going on, like homecoming or pep rally, stuff like that. But yeah. So that was real unexpected. Real, real unexpected. But, 
Okay, so next on this, oh, it's four for four, guys. Look. So next on our list is STDs. Please, 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 please wrap up. Please wrap up because the STD rates are so high and the amount of people that don't get tested when they're supposed to, you're supposed to get tested after every new partner and every six months, just in general. And nobody does that. And it's so like when I got here and I found that out, like it actually disgusted me because it's kind of just like, ew. That's why our rates are so high because nobody knows they have it because you're not getting tested so please wrap up there's condoms at every social like every social event it's con it's condoms in the health center it's condoms at 7-eleven like come on please 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 wrap up we don't want y'all out here catching nothing we don't want you know you getting sick we don't want anything people die from stds every day especially if you don't get checked um please please yeah Okay, so one thing I didn't know is the next one. One thing I did not know is most HBCUs are in the hood. Like 99% of our schools are in the hood. So, we have literally shootings like twice a week right across the street. So, you will be getting emails telling you to be careful because someone got shot. Um, we will be getting emails saying like we got an email saying a dead body was found in the back of a car. We got email like you get those type of emails all the time. Yeah, especially our HBCU. And it's crazy because I'm in Virginia, right? So I didn't know Virginia was dangerous. You know what I mean? Like I know every state has its hoods, but I didn't know it was ghetto. You know what I mean? And yeah, my dad said, Yeah, you're in Virginia, you're not you're not in Alexandria, you're not in Richmond, you're in Virginia. It's like that's the South. They get busy down there. And I was like, oh, yeah. Most most HBCUs though, like it's not even just ours. It's most HBCUs. So be very safe. Be very careful because we don't want y'all getting hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah, but make sure you do your research on what hood you're in because you don't want that. You know? Okay, so for the... Do not fall for these athletes. Please, please do not fall for these athletes. They lie. They will lie to you. They, they... They're lying. Whatever they say, they're lying. I don't care. I don't... They're lying. It don't matter what they're lying because no. Um, please listen. Whether you're a boy, girl, athletes, girl, boy, non-binary, whatever, do not fall for these athletes. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to save you from the heartbreak. Um, none broke my heart, but I'm just saying like I got a couple athlete friends and don't do it, man. I'm trying to tell you because it they do not care they do not care about your feelings they do not care they do not care like i'm they be having bets on who can who first my is that type of thing like they will i'm please listen to me please listen because you will walk around campus with your heart broke and now everybody know that your business because they don't keep their mouth shut either like please just listen please listen that's all I'm going to say. So, next one is professors. So, like I said, there are some evil... Pro pro there are some evil professors. But, most of the teachers lie in high school. Why my face look like that? Most of my teachers lie in high school. They swore up and down. Professors wouldn't give you another chance. If you missed an assignment, you missed the assignment. You, oh, they, they, they favorite line was, what are you going to do next year? The professors that are... These professors is nice. They do not care. As long as you do the work, like, you can ask them for extended time and all of that, and they will give it to you. As long as you communicate with them and let them know what's going on, why you need extra time, yada, yada, yada. They do not care. They just go open this up and back up. Most of them. Most of them. Because I had to drop a class because this I ain't even about to. 
tussle. But I had to go to class because, yeah, she wasn't cooperating. But um, most of them don't care. My Like, my math teacher, he do not care. Like, he, he just posts assignments. If you do them, you do them. If you don't, ask more time, he'll open it. Like, <laughs> as long as you do it, he not care. They don't care if you cheat. Most of them. I can't say all of them. Most of them don't really care if you cheat. Like, once again, my math teacher was like, Somebody doing the work, even if you, even if you find it on internet, somebody had to do the work to do it. So as long as the work's getting done, he don't care. Like he literally said that. So, yeah. But basically, what I'm telling you is, teachers lied in high school. It's not like that in real life. It very much is still easy peasy to cheat to all of that. Um. Yeah, this movie. Um, now we're going to talk about the freshman 15. Freshman 15 is definitely real. Definitely real. Um, because me, I weighed 110 when I first came on campus. No, I weighed 105 when I first came on campus. Then I started, now I weighed 110 after like a month. Now I weigh 115. It's only November. We got here well, late August. Um, yeah. So, but the, honestly, that's good for me, though, because I personally wanted to gain weight. Like, I've been trying to gain weight for a long period of time. So, and honestly, I also think it's happy weight that's gaining because I'm actually happy now. If you know me, you know I've had bad mental health for a real long time. So, it's like my mental health is finally coming to peace. And I feel like that's why I'm genuinely growing. Um, If you want to see my like weight gain journey not weight gain journey but like before to now comment below and i'll post it in my next video like i'll just show y'all what the difference is but yeah definitely is real if you are worried about gaining weight um i would personally say i can't even tell you get healthy stuff from the calf because i never really eat from the calf it's in ooh, it's set for soul food thursday that's the only time i really eat in the calf um yeah, but I think they have salads and stuff. Um, we also have gyms, like, on campus. And you don't have to pay for them. They're free. They're in, like, housing or whatever. So, uh, but, yeah, like, there are, there are, there are other options. Like, I eat Chick-fil-A every day. I'm not going to lie to you. Chick-fil-A, tropical smoothie. We have a tropical that's bagels that's all i eat i'm like so yeah freshman 15 is real that's basically what i'm saying freshman 15 is basically is real very much real 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 so the next one is mental health oh my goodness well i kind of just spoke on mental health a little bit but to really you know touch on it mental health is so important and i feel like college gives you so many opportunities to actually get your mental health right um yes it very much is stressful you know school if you're in organizations or if you're in clubs or if you're, if you play a sport that adds more stress to you but i feel like college if anything you're by yourself you're alone so you have to spend time with yourself understand what makes yourself happy understand you know just yourself like take yourself on dates take yourself that's real important and real life in college so i would say take this time to really get to know yourself to really talk to yourself to really understand yourself and make yourself happy yeah <laughs> okay so the next one is relationships Okay, so, um, I believe they can't work. Me, personally, I believe they can't work. Dang, it got real dark. Hold on, let me turn the light on. Wait. Anyways, so, I feel like long-distance relationships personally can work, but both people have to be, excuse me, both people have much, Both people have to be emotionally into it, mostly and physically into the relationship equally, or it's not going to. Um, 
yeah a lot of people cheat though i'm not going to cap i'm not going to come on here and say people don't cheat on campus at the end of a relationship the end of a relationship no people on campus cheat all the time it's more so about you and your partner's respect and boundaries um and not crossing them that's pretty much all i can tell you um but but I personally wouldn't do a long distance relationship yet. I personally wouldn't be in a relationship in college either because people cheat while they won't come, like while you're both on college campuses. Um, I feel like college is more so getting to learn about you. But you know, if you want those sneaky link, it's those two. Like it's uh, college is so college. Like everything you see on TV is almost the same thing as what college is actually like. Um, yeah <laughs> that's really it like relationships are just relationships um not everybody's meant to be in your life forever and yeah okay well guys that's it for this video before i log off i just kind of want to say um thank you for staying till the end thank you for tuning in i really appreciate you guys this is my first video i am learning so you know if the edits aren't that good just know i am trying i am gonna get better at it as i go um i have a lot a lot of videos coming up soon um, i have a glow up with me in 24 hours challenge um shout out to princess j because i think she came up with it she's the only person i'll be seeing do it stuff like that so shout out to her um when my weight comes so around the around when we come back um i'm gonna be doing that i also have uh, a boy advice versus girl, ooh, versus girl advice video where I get my guy friends and my girlfriends and they go head to head and give advice to your questions. So follow me on Instagram so you can give me questions when I post it. Um, what else? I, I just have a lot of videos coming up so soon. So just make sure you are staying tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram, my Instagram, TikTok. Oh, my TikTok too. So all my TikTok followers that you know have been with me from the get go and they came from that platform to this one. I love you guys so much. And yeah. Okay, my first YouTube video. Woo. I feel like I didn't do that good, but um, like I said, I will get better as I go. Um, the lighting will be better. I'm just waiting for my ring light to come. I did order it. So once my ring light comes, we really back in business. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I love you guys. Be safe drink water, um, exercise, do your homework, all of that. Okay. Bye guys. I love you.